It stems from budget cuts Hamilton City Council passed last week. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is on your side tonight with how those cuts could affect you. Amy? Clyde, starting tomorrow, a fire truck that used to make 900 runs a year will now have to make at least 2,000 runs because of cuts. That's one of several changes the Hamilton Fire Department will face this year. We start making this truck make the 2,000 runs a year. Um, we're, we're a little worried about um, beating it up really bad. Deputy Chief Jeff Shaw isn't ready for the Hamilton Fire Department to ring in the new year with two less fire trucks to use on a daily basis. The potential's there for it to just take longer for those uh, remaining units to, uh, to arrive on the scene. Leaving five fire trucks and three EMS squads to serve the city every day. Take double the time somebody's life is at risk. That's horrible. But Shaw says the city of Hamilton needed to make these cuts to help balance the budget. He's not so sure this method will work. In addition to engine 22 being out of service here at headquarters, another truck at the Schuler Avenue fire station may or may not be taken out of service. That means if I have the staffing when I leave today and I've made the lineup out for the next shift, but the next shift comes around and someone calls in sick with the flu, then I have to adjust the lineup. And I think it's an absolute shame that they're closing it down. Especially if a fire is happening nearby. Without Schuler operating, it's a matter of who's available next. If uh, the next closest engine is already on an emergency scene and can't make a response to that one, then we have to wait on the next engine in line. It's definitely scary. I've been through an incident with having to call 911 before and um, response time for the person at risk feels like forever. So taking two fire trucks away, it's going to make it even worse. 18 firefighters could also be without a job come May. Another measure the city is considering to balance its budget. Now, those firefighters were hired under a grant which expires in May. Shaw says their union is in negotiations with the city, so those men don't end up without a job. Carol Clyde. All right, Amy, thanks.